Hi guys, this is the Balkan Arcade. Continuing today's video, I will be showing you how to model this cool tensile canopy structure in Revit. And it will be a parametric family, so you will be able to change everything through the parameters. This is, and the actual geometry that stands behind this is a hyperbolic para, para, parabol, par hyperbolic paraboloid. And I will be modeling it as a conceptual mass family. But before we get started, I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe, because I make videos like these almost every day. Okay, so let's get started, here we are in Revit, so I'm going to go here to Families, New Conceptual Mass. Now I'm going to just step back a couple of folders, go into a metric library here, and here I have metric mass, and that's what I'm going to use. Okay, so first to get started, I'm going to go to level 1, and we need to add some reference planes first. So I'm just going to be using a reference plane command here. So I'm just going to create like this. Two reference planes, and now I'm going to select these two, and I'm just going to rotate them, and make a copy, place the center of rotation here, and go 90 degrees. Okay, now we have basically an outline that's going to help us create our parameters. And to do so, I'm going to be using dimensions. And here I'm just going to place some basic dimensions here and here. And this is just to make this these two distances equal. So you're just... When you place a dimension, you just hit EQ. So I'm going to do that once again if you haven't seen that. So you just place your dimensions and you hit here EQ and now it makes them equal and constrains them. So now let's add the parameter dimensions. So that will be this here and this here. And because I don't want to be working in millimeters, I'm just going to change the units into meters. So here I'm just going to go meters. Okay. And now let's add our parameters. So to do that you need to select your basically the dim line and you need to go here to label dimension and here you have create parameter hit that and you need to name it so this I'll name as length okay this will be the width so again create parameter and once we have that we need to add one for the height of the whole structure and here we're just going to create a reference plane like this. And let's create a dimension starting from the bottom to the top here. Now we can select this, let's change this to, I don't know, like 4 meters. Select this dimension, go here to create parameter and call this height. Go OK. And now we have all the basic parameters. You can see here in 3D, that's how it looks like. And I need one more parameter, and that's the offset parameter. That's because I want basically the construction elements to be at an angle, and it doesn't make sense really now, but don't worry, it will make sense in a minute. So I'm just going to place these offset parameters here, and let's dimension them. So starting from the outer reference plane to the inner reference plane, same thing here make them aligned. Now you can select both of them and then create the parameter and it will immediately make them equal. So this will be the construction offset. And there you go. Now we have the base on which we're going to be modeling our geometry. And before we start modeling, let's just flex it up a bit just to make everything Nice, so let's put this at 1 meter, height I'm going to leave it 4, for the length let's go with 10, and for the width let's go with 8 meters. Go apply, ok, and you can see everything now changed up, so this is 8, this is 10, and this is 1. For the construction let's start from the south elevation, but first we need to select the plane on which we will be modeling, so I'm just going to go here to set. And I'm going to go with pick a plane, and I'm going to pick this one. And it here we have a dialog to choose basically a view from which we'll be, 
will be modeling so I'm just going to go with South Elevation and now when we zoom in we can start creating our geometry so I'm going to be using reference lines and I'm going to start from here to here so basically this is our offset and this is the construction element and the same thing here now we can't leave it just like this we need to constrain it so I'm just going to be using the align tool and I'm going to go here align then by hitting tab you can select the end point click it align it and lock it in place same thing here select this one tab hit this end point lock it in place I need to need to do the same thing on each side so select this thing tab lock it in place and basically the same process over here okay once that's completed we need to add some reference points so I'm just going to go back to level 1 go here to reference and choose this reference point and I'm going to set the work plane at level 1 and let's place one here and one here escape out of that now let's go into 3d view so here I'm going to go to 3d and this is what we have we have our construction elements and we have this basically two base points that are going to be the ground connection for our tensile structure so now let's model the actual tensile element so to do that I'm going to be using reference lines and here I'm going to just select 3d snapping and let's start modeling. I'm going to start from this point here and if you can't select this actual point that's because here we have this draw on work plane if we choose draw on face we can now select it and you need to have this 3d snapping also in checked and check the chain as well so now let's start modeling so one point second point third point fourth point and let's finish it up just hit escape and here we have the basically the outer parameter of our tensile structure and let's go just create form now it has these two forms you don't need to select the extrusion you just select the this one and there you go we have our tensile in place now we can add the material so you select it you go here material and uh, let's go here to home open up Autodesk fabric let's use linen beige go apply okay that's fine if we go into realistic it looks like something like this and now we also need to add some basically some geometry over here we can't leave it at lines when we load that into project it will be invisible so to do that I'm just going to go here to model do set so I'm just going to go like down here and I'm going to choose this reference plane that's actually the end point of this line and here I'm going to choose draw on work plane and create a circle and I'm going to select the circle and let's put this to 0 3 okay that looks about right now you select the reference lines you hold the control you select the circle and you go create form so we have one pole or one construction element and you need to do the same thing over here so you just go model line set choose this one circle draw on work plane and you create your circle select the circle change this to 0.3 okay select the reference plane select the circle create form and let's just add some material so I think this would be you need to select the actual geometry okay make sure to select both halves this is actually just one half you go to the other side select the second half okay now we need to add some material I think this will be, look nice in wood so I'm just going to select this wood material load it into project go apply okay and there we go now before we finish I just like to test everything out so I like to flex all of this and to do that you need to go here to family types open it up and let's change this to I don't know 12 meters let's change this to 10 meters and let's change this to 5 
let's do this at 1.3 go apply okay and you can see everything still looks good yet the dimensions have changed when you look at in floor plan okay so let's go back to 3d so now we can save it and load it into a project Okay, that's pretty much it for this parametric tensile structure in Revit. I hope it was helpful. If you have any suggestions, questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and have a nice day.